so how many films have you watched now? Um, five. Five. So Lunchbox, um, Hindi Medium, mm -hmm. um, Namesake, Hindi. but that's not necessarily. Yeah, it's not really. It's like Hindi. half half Hindi. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Hater. Hater. And what's Hater one? twice. Uh -huh. And then McBull. Oh, McBull. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. <laughs> I'm Corbin. I'm Zachary Andrew Charles Kieslich. Um, and in case you didn't know, his initials are his name. What's that called? What's that stupid thing called? <laughs> It's called a Zachronym. <laughs> gotcha. Usually people call it an acronym, but it's a Zachronym. It's the only so, really cool. It's the only cool thing about me. Hold on, I'm talking. So the Zach is Z for Zach, A for Andrew, C for Charles, K for Kieslich. Okay. Zach. So uh, Zach is back already um, because he couldn't stop himself apparently from watching a film. I told him to wait and watch because I was planning on having him review it later but we'll just I do couldn't. it now because it's fresh in his mind he has ear fond fever i, I guess we you? can call it no yeah? ear fond fever yeah. uh so yes he reviewed header along with all those other films that he has now seen and they've all have been with Irfan. Yep. irfan has been in all of them we'll have to get you we'll have to get you into some other people and some other languages as well uh next but Hedder, directed by Vishal Bardwash, starring Shahid Kapoor and uh, a bunch of other people. Taboo, again. And so sexy when you say those names. Irfan and uh, a whole bunch, mm. of other, whole bunch of other people. So, your initial thoughts of the film, please, Zachary Andrew Charles Kieslich. I, I, I wasn't even going to come with a sarcastic joke about it, and I can't. I, I love it. So good. It's so good. Like right from the, like from like just the start of that, uh, the the doctor guy, just him walking in the alley is just like just a. It's beautiful. Just a yep. beautiful shot. Um, so good. Mm -hmm. So good. And you you were actually in Hamlet, correct? You did a you did a. Yeah, I did. I did it. It was like a black box, like a short little yeah thing for theater, and then read it all through high school and college and because i was also in theater so and in english classes so i doubled the hamlet and it's my favorite play yeah so you you're a shakespeare fan so tell us about the film what did uh what did, what what did you like about it what uh where do you want to start did it was so it a first, good adaptation of uh hamlet? It's the best it literally it was the best adaptation of a shakespeare uh, besides leonardo dicaprio's from <laughs> and juliet yeah, for sure, and, Def definitely, and, and and the Lion King, because the Lion King is a adaptation yeah. of Hamlet. Yeah, it is. Um, no, it's it's by far like one of the best I've seen, and because it's it's and I watched y'all's review, so I'm gonna try not to say exactly what y'all say because <laughs> I agree with a lot, but because it like sticks to the text like really well, but also made it its own, but. Like very very well, mm -hmm. and the main guy who played uh, Shahid Hader, Kapoor. Shahid Kapoor. Say mm -hmm. it one more time. Shahid Kapoor. Oh, so sexy. So um, he. I'll tell you the truth. I was not impressed with him for the first half of the movie. Gotcha. I did not think he was. I was. I could do this. Gotcha. The actor in me was like. I, it just seemed like he was just very, just kind of like stiff and um just kind of stoic and it was just it wasn't it wasn't nothing impressive like there's other actors i was more impressed with. Mm -hmm. but then when he found out well, when when Ir Ir irfan shows mm -hmm. up it just like totally like this guy he went from like oh this guy's an okay actor too he is a super great actor and i think now what i saw was like intentional like, he was playing this kid who was just, you know, found out his father's gone, everything in his world's kind of falling apart, like Hamlet. 
And so he is going to be kind of stoic and rigid, and the whole mission is him looking for his father. But then when he gets that closure, it's just, it's, it's he just well done. It's just when he flips like the he, switch he and he becomes crazy. Flips, yeah. It's like I really don't think it's him. I like I think another actor played the first Hamlet, and then yeah. he shaved his head because he couldn't even look the same anymore. Yeah, I mean it was like it was so like he disappeared and. What I like about Hamlet, the play, and not a lot of adaptations do, is when he loses it in the play, but I, why I like it is because, I mean, you have the same sense of humor, is because he's super sarcastic. Mm-hmm. He's just like, like everything's a joke. He does, stops taking things seriously because, you know, his life's falling apart. In mm-hmm. most movies, like the Mel Gibson one or um, others that I've seen, he's crazy. I mean, mm-hmm. they... He appears like he's lost his mind, and he kind of did that, but he most seemed like he's like I just don't care anymore. Yeah. No, I'm just just life's life's a joke. Life, you know, is is just one big, you know, farce. So I'm just gonna not take it seriously until it, he starts. You know, it it goes to the the, ri- the the writing and directing of the film, right? Um, uh, which is Vishal Bardwash, which is one of my favorite yes. d- directors. Um, so good he, he's brilliant um he actually started I, as a as a composer of film uh and so he did compose this obviously film he does his his own but i think he actually sang a song in this actually as well uh um, yeah he did but yeah he uh you know me i, I, I he, researched after this he, he's a big shakespeare fan obviously um so yeah what let's talk about what do you think of the directing and the the writing and all that oh and i I think so. I was reading. I liked when I watch a movie, and especially a movie that I like. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm IMDb and I'm Wikipedia. It, I'm researching it. It's yeah. it's what I love to do. Um, and so I was looking at the director, and I think what makes him such a good director mm-hmm. is that he's a composer first. So he's seeing a movie in a different lens. And like what's made like a lot of my favorite movies, like like the Star Wars or Indiana Jones. Mm-hmm. What's made those movies and researching those you know interviews or not was the composing was the was the music those movies wouldn't be as great if it wasn't for the music and so this guy is both he sees that in a directing sense and then i also read that he didn't even want to be a director he just wanted to compose but the reason he chose to be a director is so he can so he can compose yep. and then a lot of the movies and like his main movie he liked was like pulp fiction and you can see that especially with mcbull mm-hmm. as a very kind of Oh, we're talking about Heather and Amicable. But uh, you um, can you can you can compare the two because uh, we probably won't do that review with you. Uh, what do you yeah. uh, between the two? Which one do you like better, McBull or, or this one? Uh, I like this one better. Heather, yeah. And I think what messed me up though, and watching Elle's review, I should have watched. And if I didn't jump the gun, this probably would have happened. I should have watched McBull first because it was the first one he did. Did we, it back in two thousand three. We went the exact same way you just went. <laughs> So, backwards. Yeah, you, yeah. you should Reverse. absolutely go the oldest ones first, so you, you can because obviously you see his growth as a director and his budget and the technology grows with him. So obviously the whole cinema gets better as a whole. Like like Mobul was great and it was it was a good film. It was great acting and it's stay, same with the, the music was really good and the story how he made a lot. He, I feel like he made a lot more changes with Macbeth. Than he did with Heather, um, uh, yeah. Um, but he, uh, but the movie was kind of um, uh, dragging a little bit. I felt like Mike Bull did, mm-hmm. um, and I think part of it was jumping right from Heather to Mike Bull. I was even even when it was dragging, it wasn't. But even when it was dragging Heather, I mean, it was still beautiful. I mean, because of the cinematography and um, the music, and I feel like it was a little slower with McBull. Yeah, absolutely. Now, also, McBull is a crime drama like The Godfather or Goodfellas, and so it, those stories are a little um, slower. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of this kind of and McBull is basically not only is it a Macbeth adaptation. It's a Godfather adaptation. Yeah. I mean, it reminds me so much. Even the guy who played, you know, the the main so, mobster. So now you've actually seen Taboo in three roles. Uh, 
Taboo was his mother in Heather. And I've seen. I know. I, I, I was trying to remember if she was in. Uh, she was the mother in, in Heather. Hindu she was the mother in in the namesake, and she was yes. also um, yeah, Beth's I, lover. In, I, yes, I fell in love with her in um, the namesake. Yeah, which was okay movie. Yeah, and I, I told you about. It. Yeah, yeah, but I realized what I love is watching her and um, Irfan fall in love. I <laughs> love that. Yeah, because they play it so like just so natural, and of course, I mean he's a good actor, and just having her support him or he support her, it just they they're both really good, and she's one of those really good actresses that she can play crazy, she can play mm-hmm. um, the, the the sweet wife or the the, the kind of you know new to America like in the namesake, and I just thought she's a great actress, but I love her and her fun together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so I have a separate where she falls in love with. Um, the the spirit, she falls in love with. Uh, I forget his name. Who? In in uh, Hater. Oh, um, uh, the uncle. Uh, no, the, the uh, Irfan's character. Oh, the ghost. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, the ghost. I yeah. don't know what Taboo I don't know his name in 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 this. I, is, but he's I think it's Rudar or something. Yeah, I think it's Rudar. It's spirit and yeah. And he, but I think they fall in love. They have to. They're together. They were <laughs> together in the car. I think they fell in love first. So yeah. Is there any part of uh, this film that you didn't like? The only thing it was beautiful, but the driving scenes, I can tell was green screen. Okay, gotcha. Just yeah. when they're when they're driving, specifically when it's the big, when they're taking him to when the the Solomon Solomon guys are taking uh, Heather to uh, be killed. It just yeah. it was very you can kind of tell that it wasn't. It wasn't, but that's like, I mean, that's very nitpicky. It yeah. wasn't like a big deal at all. Didn't did you, ruin it. Did I you just like, because like, oh, when I tell. first watched it, I didn't like um, Gilderstein and um, what, what it, Rosencrantz. Yeah, yeah. That Those characters, what did, what did you think about them? Rick didn't have a problem with them. So I, I, I they were a little much, mm-hmm. but I liked it. I liked did you, did you understand they were, what they were doing at all? Because it was a little, cause well, the, the, like, because they kept referencing an actor named Salman Khan. Yeah, I just assumed that they're big fans of this actor, and so they were trying to beat him. Yeah, he's uh, he's and a so, he's a massive, massive star who's um, known for you know being a big guy and having good looks, uh, but he's not. Okay. He's but he's the guy, the guy does big Bollywood numbers, but he's not much of an actor. Um, but he's like The Rock, essentially, but almost worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That, yeah. that, put, that puts a picture. But like, if The Rock was adored, like massively adored yeah. by fans. Oh, so like by guys who like driving and stuff. So the, that's small people. <laughs> yeah. Um, so make it bigger. That's essentially what they were doing. Um, but yeah. Um, that was probably the only issue I had with it. It's just I, I would have chosen something different for the film. Uh, but the, the only one you would have done is just I, probably just done real driving as opposed to some green screen. Yeah, that's 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 my only thing is like I, because it looked like the out like they would if they just figured out how to like sh- shoot with inside the car, which people have done before. I mean, yeah. That would have been my only thing. But um, I, I did like them. I thought they were much needed because you especially. In, stuff like this and that's why William Shakespeare is so great is you need some humor yeah in these dark movies and so I think that's what they were trying to be and so they, they did it they were a little over the top especially the short one um <laughs> like just a little too much yeah but uh like even like when when Hamlet I'm just gonna call him Hamlet because I might be butchering the name uh when he kills them like that whole scene was hilarious yeah like it was like I was like this is funny and then I was like oh he's he's brutally murdering these people with rocks okay this is where we are it was hilarious uh, up to that it, point it was incredible um, did, but did uh, what did you think about the end it was great I yeah. it wasn't what I expected so when I played Hamlet when I played in Hamlet I played Laertes which was the brother of Ophelia and so I had to learn how to fence for a scene because they had that big duel so I was expecting something like that to happen mm-hmm. and then he just like hits his head on a rock i was like okay hey, some, something different is gonna happen um and, and it was already different with the mom and the uncle and just the way that they gave her more of a 
arc than in Hamlet and Ophelia is kind of playing like Horatio, his friend in Hamlet. Because mm-hmm. he had a friend uh, named Horatio in, in Hamlet, and she's kind of Ophelia's character. The girl is playing kind of both, like the friend and the girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And so I like that they gave him more substantial roles. Um, so those were different. So I assumed the ending would have been different. I just didn't know how different. I was hoping for his head to be cut off. No, that's an, I'm, now I'm, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew I was going to get like that. They shouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, I was hoping that was going to happen in, in Megpool. Yeah. So now that you've seen five Indian films, what is your favorite of the five Indian films? I want to say, hey there. That mm-hmm. this is the movie that I was ready to jump in and watch it again. Mm-hmm. Hindi me- Hindi medium was another one that I was I could watch again. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and lunch, lunchbox. What? Which you haven't seen yet. You haven't seen. Hindi I haven't seen Hindi medium yet. No. Okay. That was it. Was really really good. Really good. And your lunchbox favorite was good. Earphone performance. Mm, uh, I think my bull. McBull? McBull. Yeah. yeah. I think good. so. In Hindi Medium, it's a different Irfan, and I like him because he's showing more of his comedic, mm-hmm. like more over-the-top comedic, because he was comedic in um, The Lunchbox, but uh, Hindi Medium, he was more, and so I like that, kind of see him, but McBull, it was just that, like he's one of those, you say, uh, effortless. He's yeah. effortless, but he's also one of those, he's a little bit of a chameleon aware. I mean, it looks like Irfan, but different personalities. What okay. like he goes from playing like an old man type grouchy guy in the lunchbox, and then he's playing this mob boss kind of guy in McBull, and he was so good. Yeah, one of the best actors I've ever seen. Um, so, what kind of film do you want to watch next? What do I want to watch next? Um, probably something a little more happy. <laughs> okay. I got, I kind of going in a dark dark spell. Yeah. Um, he does like to with, do a lot of dark stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, even with the namesake was it was just kind of depressing. Yeah. And then I went to Hadar, which was really it ended really. Um. I. How about um, your wife picks the my next movie. Your my wife picks yeah the next movie. Yeah. Um. She literally just texted me. So, let Zach down below know which film he should watch next. Uh, yes, let me and, know. Uh, Boss we'll, me around. We'll, we'll get him to uh, other actors to love, because there's a lot. I feel yes. like you there, you would love many. Would you like to explore more Shahid Kapoor? Because uh, he's, yeah. uh, he's Actually, fantastic. There's, so, there's movies that I looked up that I, I saw. Like, he was in a World War II movie. That, um, Don't just hop uh, into anything. <laughs> Don't okay. just hop into anything. Because, one, uh, so, that could be very bad. <laughs> It could be a terrible experience for you, because uh, he was actually to, at, I, at the beginning of his career known as the pretty boy, and he was uh, he was like you know Heath think, Ledger was coming up. He was known as yeah, the, just the pretty was, boy. That was my complaint with the beginning of mm-hmm. Hey Art, which was like oh he's just he's like super handsome, mm-hmm. great hair, um, and his, like, might, you know his, his his stubble was like just like perfect. I might um, I, I might like, send oh. you into uh, Ramlila. Which is Ramlila? Romeo and Juliet, not by this director, a different director, but it's it's a fun it's a fun movie. Okay. <laughs> it's I it's not depressing, Romeo and Juliet. Well, it's okay. It's fun. Uh, it's big like Bolly. It's Juliet. big Bollywood numbers, uh, and I you get wanna... to you get to uh, experience Ranveer Singh and Deepika. Uh, okay. They who are two massive stars who are married in real life. Oh, that's um, cool. But well. Let him know down below which uh, film he we should have him review next. And we also need to get you to other languages, like Malayalam. That'd be good. Yeah. 